Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. This is episode 101, and uh, today we're actually going to talk about something you guys brought to my attention. Uh, I mentioned the other day on episode 99 that it didn't look like Venom was going to be at uh, WonderCon, and it was funny because I, I said in the video, well, they, I mean, you know, I said in the video they could still maybe show up at the last second, but we don't know, and so for now it doesn't look like Sony's going to be there. And I think someone commented, well, you never know, they could show up at the end. It's like, yeah, I said that in my video, uh, but it's cool, you know. I appreciate every comment, obviously, uh, and especially from you guys here, uh, Comic Boys and uh, Venom Gaming. Both of you guys gave me this information. Comic Boys first dropped this and said, hey, you know, CinemaCon is actually coming up in April on the 23rd, and that might be a good place for Sony to show Venom stuff uh, because, you know, it's outside kind of the normal comic book crowd. Uh, it's something for cinephiles and, cin and cinema fans, and since they're going with a different, um, you know, vibe for this movie and going for more of the monster movie, maybe that could be a good place place and then I saw Venom Gaming like comment on that and then went and did some research and then sent me some information and he's 100% you guys are both 100% right actually on April 23rd at 6 30 p.m. Uh, to 8 15 p.m. so almost two full two full hours uh, they will be on the Coliseum level and there's an opening night gala event hosted by Sony highlighting all of their summer 2018 and beyond films uh, so it looks like they're gonna make some announcements there and they're certainly going to show off some footage there. And I'm with you, Venom Gaming. Venom Gaming says it's, it's there's a chance they might not bring Venom, but it's highly unlikely because it's a great place to promote it. It's right before Infinity War comes out. If they drop a new trailer or some new footage, they can put that in front of Infinity War, which comes out literally days later. Uh, I think this is a good chance that we might get something here on this day for Venom. I, I feel like 95% sure we're going to get some news here. So big shout out. I'm going to put a link down below to Comic Boys and to Venom Gaming. Make sure you follow their stuff. And I think Venom Gaming, I don't know if Comic Boys has yet, but I know Venom Gaming is uh, making some, they're making, he's making his own Venom video. So if you want to check out his stuff, check him out down below. Uh, so yeah, I thought this, inter uh, this this information was really cool. Made me smile today. Made me excited because I was like, oh good. You know, uh, obviously I don't think I'll be able to go to, uh, to CinemaCon. So I won't be able to vlog or report anything to you guys. But I'll be at home waiting, you know, with bated breath for any news to drop online, and we will cover everything to the best of our ability and uh, and share it with you guys. So again, uh, all of you, thank you so much. Like I said, I read every comment. I don't get a ton of them right now, so it's really easy for me too. I just, if you ever comment and you wonder why it's taking me so long to respond, I usually don't do it until like midnight uh, when I'm either about to upload the next episode or if I'm just like got home from work I'm, and I can't sleep right away. So I go on there and, and check all the, all the um, comments at one time. Uh, luckily, YouTube makes that easy for me and they put everything in order and I can just go through and put hearts on it and like it and reply if I have anything to say so hopefully you know you guys aren't uh, you know it doesn't hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get back to some of you guys uh, but as far as who's gonna be on the panel uh, looks like Tom Rothman the chairman of uh, Sony right now he's gonna be there uh, Josh Greenstein uh, president of worldwide marketing and distribution he's gonna be there uh, Adrian Smith who is the president of domestic distribution and Stephen Odell who is the pres president of international distribution so it looks like they're gonna be talking a lot about Maybe Sony's plan, Sony's film division. Obviously, it is a film division that, you know, is is underperforming in some areas. But they just had Jumanji be a big hit for Sony, and uh, and they probably have a lot of things coming up that they put all their eggs in those baskets. Obviously, they want Venom to do really well, and they're showing that by not spending a ton of money to make it. Although we we don't know what the final budget is yet, so we'll find that out when it happens. So far, I haven't heard any, of any reshoots planned, uh, but then again, they probably don't even have a cut of the film yet, so it's probably too soon to even do that as well. Um, so uh, although I did hear about a ton of reshoots for Deadpool 2, apparently that movie isn't uh, coming together too well, uh, but hopefully they can pull that together in the end. I've seen a lot of amazing things happen with a few, you know, you know a week or two of reshoots and some good editing. Hopefully it'll work out. Uh, but for Venom, I'm excited for this because that gives me at least a good idea of around when for sure we're going to get some more movie news. Now, will we get anything between now and then? I have no idea. I hope so. I hope they still release a few things here and there. Hopefully Tom Hardy does like a, you know, he's a big tattoo guy. He loves going to get tattoos. I think he got one about Leonardo DiCaprio. He made like a deal with him when they made the movie The Revenant. And I guess he lost the bet that they made. So he had to go get a, like a Leonardo DiCaprio tattoo or something. That would be cool if, um, if like a tattoo magazine or popular tattoo site or something like that, uh, you know, if, if Sony reached out to them and said, hey, we want to do an exclusive with Tom, 
and he'll come in your shop and talk to the owner and, he, and the owner can ask about venom and these are the questions we'll pre-approve that you can ask and it'll be a way for us to get information out to comic book fans but also to get you know to reach that the fans who are like you know like me like I tattoo my body I don't have a ton of it right now uh, but I got enough tattoos on my arm to where I have to wear long sleeves at work uh, so yeah I mean I think that would be a good way to reach out and get an article out there have Tom do a quick interview whether it's you know a video or if it's in print in some kind of magazine uh, whatever it is that would be really cool and then that way on the cover you could have you know Tom standing there and you could have like the set the shadow of uh, you know uh, a, the symbiote behind him you know obviously you don't want to give that away maybe so maybe he's holding the jar with the symbiote in it from the trailer uh, maybe something like that that would be pretty cool so uh, I don't know I, I hope we get more information coming up soon but if not don't worry I got us covered we still got comic book stuff to talk about we're gonna drop down this week we're probably gonna drop down to four episodes and then next week we'll probably drop down to three although I'm gonna try to stick to four if I can for a while just because we have a lot of comic news to do and I, I and comic book stuff and I do want to talk on uh, you know about that stuff but I just don't want you know to do four or five videos in a row about comics I want to break it up the best I can so if I can't I might pump the brakes a little uh, so just to give you a heads up but my spawn show will be starting very very soon so uh, that will hopefully you know scratch that itch for you guys if you're spawn fans too and I want to give a big shout out before we end this episode to fan base press they had me on their podcast this week and I'm going to put a link down below uh, that episode is live right now if you want to check it out please do and please follow those guys they're super super awesome they were nice enough to have me on and i really appreciate it and their show's outstanding so definitely check it out every week link is down below so check that out as well uh, but what we have coming up we're going to finish the the uh, separation anxiety trade paperback we have two more stories to cover exile returns and separation anxiety so we'll do those uh, probably this week and then next week what i'm probably going to do is i'm going to make videos on these these are the true believer one dollar comics that are out right now this is one of them this was the one i couldn't find at uh at uh, house of secrets the other day so luckily golden apple had it when i went by today and uh venom symbiosis this is a reprinting of a web of spider-man comic Comic where Spider-Man actually separates himself from the suit. Uh, so that's what you get in this issue. It's that storyline. But there's also a lot of great ads in it and stuff. Uh, we will talk about that soon. I don't want to spoil too much right now, but we'll do a whole episode on each one of these $1 comics because, like I said, there there are things that I want to talk about that and I want to try to stick to only the things in print and that you can go get right now at your local comic stores. And right now you can go get this and Spider-Man vs. Venom, which is a reprint of Amazing Spider-Man 300, which we mentioned recently, in an episode you can pick these up for a dollar each right now so yeah these are classic venom stories and how it came to be this is part one and then the very next issue is amazing spider-man 300 which happens right after this so be sure to pick them up at your little comic store today uh but yeah let me know what you guys think CinemaCon coming up we're like six seven weeks away from that that is awesome that is pretty sure solid movie news coming from that probably enough to make a couple videos for you guys off of so i'm pumped for that uh, but what do you think we'll get between now and then if you think a trailer's coming here at CinemaCon, let me know down below that's what i think we're gonna get and maybe a couple scenes from the movie possibly too would be awesome uh but uh, at least maybe a trailer. But what would you like to see between now and then? Would you like to see more, uh, you know, exclusive footage or photos? Um, obviously, probably seen enough of Tom Hardy now. Do you want to see the other characters? Maybe a, a Jenny Slate. Um, you know, you know, uh, who else? Riz Ahmed, uh, Michelle Williams. Do you want to see pictures of them? Anything official come out? Let me know what you guys think. Uh, you want to see down below in the comments. Uh, that's it for me. I am so tired. I got to go to bed. I just recorded two episodes back to back, and I need sleep. So I will see you all in the future. Thanks for watching. Peace.